In order to proceed from Ota Gunga to Theed, Qui-Gon Jinn resorts to a Jedi mind trick to convince Gungan leader Boss Nass to give them a transport and speed them on their way. But did Qui-Gon really succeed in mind tricking Boss Nass? For now, let's just assume that Boss Nass isn't weak-minded enough to fall for a mind trick and see if the evidence in the movie is consistent with that assumption and whether or not we can reinterpret the events on screen in a logical way, starting with that premise. The reason I think this is because even though Boss Nass appears to give in to Qui-Gon's mind tricks, these things line up with his own desires pretty well anyway. Doesn't he want to get rid of the Jedi? The Gungans are extremely secretive and mistrusting of outsiders. I really don't think they're going to let important ambassadors of the Republic simply walk away with the top secret location of their hidden city. But I do think that Boss Nass probably understands that these Jedi are not to be underestimated. Simply killing the Jedi isn't an option for Boss Nass. No, the Jedi need to be disposed of more intelligently and quietly. The Jedi need to think that they're the ones in control. So Boss Nass drags out the debate and frames himself as essentially impossible to convince by normal means. Now the Jedi have to play their hand. The Jedi know that they won't be leaving on foot or by swimming or whatever. They either have to escape or convince the Gungans for assistance, which appears impossible. So Qui-Gon resorts to one of the more dubiously ethical force powers to push Nass over the edge. Now, Boss Nass can immediately change his strategy. By feigning that the mind trick is working, Boss Nass can basically facilitate the Jedi's own suicide. The plan at core. The Jedi inexplicably don't realize that Boss Nass has just revealed his intentions through his tone and body language. Even Jar Jar knows it's a trap and he says as much. There's a second you said up. Going through the planet core? That's bombing. But that's the brilliance of Boss Nass's plan. The Jedi think that they're in control of the situation, so they willfully ignore the obvious. Qui-Gon didn't ask for anything but a transport. He didn't ask for the fastest route to Theed. Boss Nass volunteered this information, and he obviously knows exactly what he's doing in suggesting this planet core route. It's bad bombing and clearly well understood by the Gungans to be a death sentence. So if Boss Nass was tricked, why did he respond with exactly exactly what he wanted to the immediate peril of the Jedi. Now, of course, I think the intent of the script was that Qui-Gon's mind trick was successful, but the action is definitely way more compelling if we assume that it wasn't. It makes Boss Nass, who's otherwise this weird digital throwaway character, into something more complex than three-dimensional. And it would be an interesting microcosmic setup to the larger motif of Jedi arrogance and complacency leading to their ultimate downfall. So take from this what you will, I think looking into things and finding new or more exciting ways to interpret things is fun, even if it wasn't what the original creators had in mind. But what are your thoughts? Does this scene get a little better when we watch it with the assumption that Nass is in control? Let me know what you think. If you like this sort of thing, make sure to check out my other videos on Star Wars, and subscribe so you don't miss out on new content that I make every week. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing this video with your friends, and I'll see you next time.